What's up, soldiers? It's Snurp here, and today we're gonna play some Judgment. Um, so let's buy a Judgment entry, and Great Wolf is quite a powerful scroll we see in Zar, but we don't actually see other nice growth scrolls. But early on, we're just gonna take nice, strong creatures like Great Wolf. So I'll grab him. Uh, here I'll take the Blight Bear. Um, Alright, we have Ducal Skirmisher and Ducal Imagerman here. Reversal here. I mean, that could be. We could make an order deck. I'll take the Ducal Imagerman over the Machine Divinator. Uh, very nice energy removal here, these three scrolls. And there's a Bear Paw, which is good for like growth of the Great Wolf, but not many other good growth, thing, growth things. Uh, I could take the Reversal. Or we could take like energy spell and the creature this is really just uh interesting turn i'm gonna take the reversal just because i want order to work because i really like the ducal skirmisher and there's another reversal interesting and lockling root and brother the wolf i'll take the ducal skirmisher here definitely burn and tearing brute these are two very good scrolls Burn is amazing, but we don't have any energy creatures yet. I mean, I could go like Spark or Thunder Surge, Locking Brood, and Burn. Or I could take Bear Paw, Birth of the Wolf, Tearing Root, which would also be really nice. And I'm thinking I'm leaning towards that route. I'll take the Bear Paw here. Oh, then we have Ducal Skirmisher or Alcatraz Rebel. Here I'll take the Birth of the Wolf. Oh, then we have a Solemn Giant. I will take the Tearing Root, though. We don't have energy energy we don't have any energy scrolls yet, but we do have a few order and growth ones. I'll take the Terrain Brute. Uh, but now we have just not really good growth stuff anymore. So very interesting. We have one, two, three, four four growth scrolls, three order scrolls. I guess bear paw and reversal aren't as important, but it's one for each faction. Uh, I could go Akasar with Ducal Skirmisher. The fact of the matter is Ducal Skirmisher is just like really 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 good so i'm gonna take him over the acro struggle uh here and then there's a night scout another burn energy could have worked especially with this solemn giant uh considering these things aren't that powerful maybe i'll take it no i'll take the energy eternal statue eternal statue is an underrated scroll it uh four health for two costs ganko really uh too wrong with that now pretty obvious here the vanguard i guess Nice strong creature. God hand. Wildling. I guess Scholar over the FG the Queen, FG the Queen. I don't know if that's so great for judgment. Okay, now we don't really have any great stuff here for order. I'll take the underdog spite. I don't know if I'll be getting to God hand territory. I'll take the creature. I'll take the wildling. Um Got some nice order spells. Horn of Ages can be an amazing thing to play, so I'll take that. Huh. Prisoners of War. I can use it to get some nice card draw. Alright, but what do we have more of? Growth or energy with seven? Uh oh, god, this is so tough. Should I take the Nog or the FG the Queen? I should take the creature. I'll take the Nog. Now I'll take the flip. It's like going back and forth here. Um, the Squire here. I think our order stuff is slightly better. Not by much though. I will take Prison of War for that. Prisoners of War for that reason. It's just like great, like card draw. I could just play it. That means I'm going to need to draft an energy scroll. Uh, okay. So, yeah, sure, I'll take the Prisoners of War. And now watch me get all the good growth stuff. <laughs> Another god hand, wow. I'll take... I think, I've, I think I've almost committed more to order now, so... Let's push for it. Faith Chains... Squire, can we have a zealot here, and then there's a ranger here. <sighs> Everything's so hard. 
Copper Auto is good for like the Prisoners of War. Oh, there's a Royal Skirmisher. That is really, really nice. So let's take the Sinmark Zealot there. Um, I don't know, whatever. Well, on Ranger, who knows? Uh, Royal Skirmisher. Right, we have. Wow, this row has really nice scrolls. All four of these are good scrolls. Actually, Soul Scrounger, eh. Here I'll take, I don't know, the Ripper. And I guess I'm going to take the push bag. It's on color and it's a useful scroll. There's another Duke Lemon Trimming down there. Crown of Strength is good too. So I think it's good that we went more with order here. Uh, we're getting some good growth stuff in this row. But then, alright. Now we can take another Duke Lemon Trimming or a Sinmark Zealot or a Redeploy. Here I'll take the, I don't know, Brother Wolf. Getting a little bit of judgment lag here. I'm not sure what's going on. The servers have been not very stable the past few weeks. Hopefully they're fixed soon because the developers are slowly getting back from vacation. So redeploy. Uh, how many creatures do I have? Only nine creatures in order right now. I have to get some more. I'll take the Ducal Infantryman. Uh, this gives me. Oh, there's an Imperial Resources. Okay. Uh, I'll take the Desert Moral here. Who knows? I can have an energy splash now. Alon Vital Imperial. Oh, Roasted Bean Potion is amazing. Sinmark Zealot. Roasted Bean Potion. K. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, that, that wasn't funny. Uh, I'll take the Revenant. New Orders. Definitely the K. And another flip is nice. So is Gallant Defender. Gallant Defender is awesome. Gallant Defender, flip. We're going to have a Royal Spearman or a Ducal Skirmisher. That's going to be a tough choice. Alright, now our deck's looking better. Plating. I don't know. So, Alright, there's a. Okay, these are our last decks. So we have 13 creatures. 14 creatures just sounds a lot better than 13 creatures. But uh, I know Ducal Skirmisher is just more bang for your buck than Royal Spearman. It's just so good. But I mean, actually my deck doesn't have that much attack buffs. I mean, I do have a Vanguard that's a nice attack buff. And like a... Oh, actually a Duke Limitry that's nice attack buffs. Uh, but I think I, like, I have a lot of 4 drops. I don't have many 3 drops. I think the only 3 drop is the Royal uh, Skirmisher. What's my curb looking like? Uh... You know what? Do I take another four drop? Sure, I really like the four health too. And now do I want another Horn of Ages or a Heritage? It's gonna be nice just putting down a Heritage on my like my Sinmark Zelt before it dies. I already have a Horn of Ages and a New Orders in the deck. I don't think I need another one. I mean, I have like a lot of nice little movement spells like kind of like flips and stuff like that so I'll take the heritage and alambitol I don't know if I'm gonna need to put those in I might have to put just two alambitols in here uh I guess actually actually do I want to do here's the question guess I mean I could have a desert world and just have a Cabarata and plating nah all right this is the deck right now Soldier's Bond gives Replenish. Uh, which means I can do fun stuff. Now, do I want to keep Prisoners of War in and put in the Copper Automaton and a Lon Vital and a Revenant? How does that look? Having both one Imperial Resources and a lower cost, like almost Imperial, like the Persons of War, could be pretty good. Um, is there anything we really want? Like, what's the difference? We, we, would I rather have a more along with Tals? No, I think this is good. So we're just going to call this... Uh, mono or I guess, I guess it's not mono because I'm using Prisoners of War, but whatever. So let's head right into a match, and yeah, it's a little like it's bugging out. It's working kind of slowly. So I'll be back when we find a match. All right, found a match. Let's head right into it. Dnl Sanj, Dnl Sanjay. Good luck. Have fun. I don't think I've ever seen you around. I will mulligan considering I only have one creature in my hand and that is a 4 drop. 
and this is a much better starting hand, I will, I guess I'll just get rid of the Revenant. I mean, I guess I could just play down like a Cobra Automaton and be able to hopefully get a one-for-one -one trade with it, but I don't think it's worth me sacrificing to get two Decay for. I have to go into order. I unfortunately, I don't have a two drop in my hand or a three drop, so it's going to be a little slower to get going, but this guy hopefully will at least be a one-for-one -one trade. A lot of people like to play Sin Mark Zealot in their like, late game order decks. I don't really agree with it. Because, I mean, at best, he's like a one for one trade. Let's see if I can give him like Heritage or Power Bound before that. I'll get rid of. He just. Okay. Well. That was easy. Um. Yeah. Alright. Obviously, that's not going to be the video, so I guess I'll be playing another one. So I'll be back when I match the sound. Alright, found a match. So let's jump to this one. La Rose, La Rose Double One. Rose 11, what am I talking <laughs> Double One. Okay. Um. This is obviously. I mean. Yeah, it's Mulligan, and I explained that last game when I started with. Only a four drop creature. Okay, so he sacrifices for energy and does not have a turn one play. Uh, I will mulligan. And this is a much better hand. Just like last time when we have one of our non faction scrolls that we're going to sacrifice to play a Sidmark Zealot in the middle of the board. This time I have a, a heritage to play on turn three, which is really nice. So, I can get just like instant card draw from that. Because hopefully he'll be used in a one for one trade, and then I'll just get one extra card from having this heritage. Because you're playing the heritage, so that's like costing one to play this thing, and you're going to just draw two out of it. This heritage isn't really that good, alright? So, um, he puts it right in the middle, so that means he might have like, I don't know, like a bombard to just like destroy it. But anyways, that still that is a one for one trade. I'm gonna get rid of the new orders. It's not like I'm gonna new orders and run away from here. I guess I could hightail it out of there. But hopefully this guy can survive this turn, and I can place a heritage on him and pop him on this hired smuggler. All right. And now I have double skirmishers and a royal vanguard. Definitely, really awesome. And he's just gonna let me take the one for one trade. I'm actually gonna, I'd rather keep both skirmishers uh, than play the Night Scholar. So I'm gonna get rid of the Night Scholar. And Heritage and pop him. And I get a couple scrolls. Um, Could have used the Squire on turn two. But now, you know. I'm going to want to get at least one of those skirmishers in sync in terms of their countdown with a Royal Vanguard. So, like, I can't really go skirmisher, vanguard, skirmisher, squire. I should go... I oh, don't know, I can't play vanguard this turn, that's problem. Alright, he plays that Snargle. Which... is not really what I wanted to see. I'll go to the squire. Uh, squire doesn't really do a whole lot for me that's not like i have a night deck and i will play the ducal sandwich i have so many nice creatures in my hand it's, i'll just play them one by one if he decides to move down and try to engage me um i'll probably just play my gallant defender in front and hopefully it will have he'll play a creature so it has armor too which means it wouldn't definitely die from the snargle which means you probably need a spell to finish off the killing, which would stop the Snarl from attacking. So, hooray! Alright. He goes to five resources, and he only has two scrolls in hand.
He's ponder a uh, Lachlan Brood. Okay. Well, he also moved down with that guy. And I don't even have a spell to get rid of those guys this turn. So... Yeah, I think we're just going to give him up. It's not really worth it. Sacrificing for scrolls to try to find someone to kill him. I don't even know what I have to kill him. I have like Crown of Strength and like Rosa Bean Potion. I'll get rid of one of these Ducal Infantrymen. And play the Vanguard. And next turn I can play a 4 drop and a 2 drop. Uh, or hopefully I top deck one of my targeted enchantment or spells. Oh flips, I have, so, I have a couple flips in this deck. Those would be able to take out that locking brood. Ugh. So... If he engages me, it's probably going to mean play Gallant Defender and Ducal Infantryman. If he doesn't engage, it probably means Ducal, Inf Ducal Skirmisher and Ducal Infantryman. Uh, so he's just going to go to the center. He goes to six and a Violent Dispersal. So goodbye, you. Which means you're actually going to attack this turn. Uh, I guess I'll go to six. And since I'm not directly engaged, I will play the Ducal Skirmisher. I guess I'll put him in the back. It's not like we're playing against Growth, which means we have to have a 4 health or more creature in front because of veterans. Anyways, in Judgment, um, it's different. But yeah, so. It was unfortunate to lose our nice 5 drop that turn. And I still don't have any way of killing that Lockling Brood. So I'm crossing my fingers that I get something sooner or later. I mean, it's not really doing much damage to me right now, but four idle damage a turn does add up. And he's set to do nine idle damage this turn, barring like another spell he plays, like another battle dispersal or something. Uh, he, we both have some more resources. Decent creatures on the board. Snargle Hunter. So he's a Snargle and a Snargle Hunter behind it. Okay. Snargle Hunter. Snargle Hunter's ability is you get extra energy um, when he kills a beast. And I don't run beasts in this deck, so he'll just be a vanilla 3 2 3 in terms of this match. And I have reversal, but yeah, I don't think if I click there, he's gonna die. Reversal could come in handy, but I think it's. More important that I have a creature I can play this turn. Okay, very good. I'm going to just move up and kind of engage, um, and I'll just flip this away right now and destroy it. And I have a pushback for next turn if I need it. Pushback is not always a nice uh, value scroll to play because you're paying a scroll just for your opponents to lose some tempo so like it's not like you're destroying the opponent unit the opponent unit is going back in their hand but yeah it's uh it could be really helpful in certain situations and right now my gown fender only has uh is only a two four it does not have armor two but if he just needs to play one creature and he uh, goes to armor two, I guess she goes to armor two. Okay. Proximity charge. That kind of sucks because I don't exactly have any range units to deal with those so for me to hit that my melee units are gonna have to hit it he does move down so I mean I don't really care too much but the saddle is down at five health because the snarl already hit it once so he could just take out middle idol pretty easily and a grave lock reader who is not very threatening right, right now uh thing is I think a pushback would be good on one of these proximity charges actually is it because it doesn't say token. 
If I push it back, will he get the proximity charge back, even though I only pushed back one of them? To be honest, I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of the Simark Zealot for scrolls. Crown of Strength and a K Royal Envy. Envoy. Uh should I do it? You know, let's play the I mean he's a Valence Personal's deck. I don't know I don't wanna just play the Crown of Strength will it? Just like out of, out of the blue. Uh, I could move down actually. BC, you're gonna have high armor or whatever. I'll move up. I don't really like giving him the middle of the board here and not even having a play this turn. Actually, this Gallant Defender can destroy a proximity charge and survive because it has armor too. Right? Proximity de uh, deals physical damage. Physical damage. Uh, is reduced by armor and gallant defender has armor okay he's gonna destroy middle idol and i'm probably gonna feel safe enough to come down it'd be nice to top deck like imperial resources so then i can play the k the next turn without having to sacrifice into eight another lachlan brood and he plays it there. He really should have played it like in the middle here. Because now I'm gonna, I'm still gonna be able to move down. Uh, Prisoners of War. I mean, that was, I guess, a good draw. Uh, I have a pushback to get rid of the Lockman Brood when I need to. Let's play the Prisoners of War because we're gonna get three scrolls to sacrifice. That's like a mini imperial. Right now, two scrolls to sacrifice? Oh. Is it because I sacrificed the, uh, what's it called, early in the match? The, uh, From your library, so that the other scrolls wasn't weren't in my library library anymore. Well, that just sucks. I'm going to just move down here, and you know I'm gonna crown of strength. I need to I need to start making some headway. He's gonna take down these idols pretty darn quickly with that Lockling Brood, and I'd rather not have to use a whole pushback on it. He's likely just gonna run away from me. Getting a K out this next turn can be really nice. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. Yeah, so this prisoners of war thing is not gonna work out as well as I thought. Because I mean it's not gonna be that often where I, I can play the person to war and all of the three other resource scrolls are not in my hand because I only put one of each alright so he, he moves down and I have to start I don't want to just play like the K to protect the idol I don't want to just lose it Ugh, this is tough I feel like my deck is better than his but I don't know what, what do I do uh, another Snargle. At least Snargles don't really surprise attack. Because for energy, this is too surprise attacking, like a Fury or an Iron Weapon. If you play that, then they don't can't own because it's a spell. And a Copper Automaton. You know what I wish I, I, wish I had right now? I wish I had, a, like, a Faith Chains. Um, I'm going to get rid of the... I mean, I can't, I just... This really sucks. Look at all the stuff attacking. I can't put faith chains. Wait, I can't put. It doesn't say. I can't put it on him. Why is it not letting me? Maybe they have to add that to the scroll. You should be able to put it on your opponent. I have to sacrifice for scrolls here. This is a flip. Uh. 
think uh, it's actually more important that I use the flip to get rid of yeah I use the flip Wait, but then if I flip that kill it then he's going to be able to have four 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 and a three oh wait I have to push something back too okay let's just flip you and push you back okay so now he easily wins but I mean what else was I supposed to do I guess I could have pushed back one of these guys but they're much easier for me to destroy so I want didn't want to Okay, what is he doing? He didn't sacrifice yet. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean he has a, the win in his hand or... Alright, sacrifices now. And... Let's see. Well, now I really need, like, a flip for this Lockling Brood. You know, a nice a roasted bean potion. Alright, he plays this. Maybe he's not going to win this turn. He doesn't have one extra damage buff. Nice, he does not. And chances are he doesn't have any dark level damage and energy. So we could survive this match. Imperial resources would be good if I had a chance to play it. Really, I really think I'm, it doesn't specify uh, your own creature has to be enchanted. Um, so I can't just risk putting the K down. Um, I have to kill stuff, so let's get rid of the faith chains, and I just have to, I have to get, like, like, a, I don't know what I have to get. Horn of Ages. Um. Well. What else am I going to do? I guess I have to do this. In order to have a chance at surviving right now, I have to play the Horn of Ages like this. Not something I really, it's not a play that I really like to make here, but I don't know if I'm not drawing well or I think my deck is better than it is. Okay. And now the and now these two guys are set to attack. Ugh. Yuck yuck yuck. But if this if this back skirmisher can survive this turn, I probably feel safe enough. And I don't want to just but no but I forgot this guy's going to attack too. Oh god. I'm gonna probably have to use the K as like protection. Ugh. Another Lockling Brood. Okay. If I get a roasted bean potion, I might have to just use it on them. Which I actually should get, because I think my deck's over. And a dust runner. Okay. So now I have a roasted bean potion. Uh. I could roasted bean potion you. I'm gonna have to roasted bean potion one of you guys, I guess. 
Ugh. I'm gonna have to get rid of. I don't know. I'll get rid of the Imperial. Okay, so I guess I'll roast a bean potion. Uh. I'll kill the Snorgle. I'll roast it. Bean potion. I probably should have played Rose Beach Ocean and then sacrifice now that I look back. On. I don't know, you. I'll. Kill you and move down. And I'll just. Play the Night Scholar. And I just <sighs> doesn't feel like I should be losing this match, so I'm a little bit frustrated right now. Okay. He's moving about. Okay. So it looks like this row is going to be cleared. He goes for scrolls after he moves. I mean, he could have lethal just if he has one kind of like attack buff on this Snorkel Hunter in front right now. Or a way to deal one damage to the Saint Scholar. But I guess he doesn't. Cannonetta. Just playing out more creatures. And uh, there's another Copper Automaton. Ugh. Okay. Yes, Horn of Ages. That is good right now. I'm going to have to get rid of the K. Because I have to play the Sword of Ages and I have to make sure I have something else to play this turn also. So, yeah. Let's get rid of the K. And there's stupid prisoners of war. Um, I guess I'll just... Why can't I just draw something to another flip to kill him? I guess I'll have to do it like this, and I'm going to really board up over here. And he's going to be able to take out my Gallant Defender. It would actually be, if he doesn't have Vaunt Dispersal for this guy this turn, then if I have like a flip or something on this locking bird to kill it, or some way to kill it. It's going to be really nice because these guys can't move around. So I'm going to be able to probably kill both Snorkel Hunters then. With my Ducal Skirmisher. That would be a huge, huge turn then. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, right now I'm not paying attention, to, paying attention at all to my top idols, which could go down in a hurry. Uh, this can out of here. I haven't seen him have any attack buffs yet, so I don't think he has those in his deck. So I should have some time. It's really unfortunate that I'm not going to have Imperial Resources or K during this deck cycle. Because I sacrificed them right after it recycled. Uh, the, the, the Copper Automatons and Lachlan Bruise in his deck, man. Coming out too fast for me to handle it. Uh, there, and as I say it, look at him. He's going to hit my top idols so fast. I can't fight a war on two fronts. So I think I'm going to lose this match pretty soon. Uh, let's get someone to move him. Heritage. I can't play it on my opponent. Ah! This sucks. 
Welp. What the heck am I supposed to do? I guess I'm supposed to do Ducal Skirmisher Heritage and hope for the best. There's no other play. I'm gonna need thought this was a good deck. I don't know, was he fast out of the gate? I mean, he had a Snarl. It was, I think it was a big play in the middle of the scene when he played those proximity charges, which kind of gave him the center of the board. Okay. He moves about. And now I'm going to have to defend the top idol this coming turn because he's going to be able to hurt me. Like, my resources manage just going away because up oh, there's proximity charges. It'd be nice if I had, like, a Kabonk or something. Uh. I fought long and hard, but. I didn't surrender, but it's about over. Reversal. I can play Soldier's Bond! Yay! I can play Soldier's Bond on you. Or I should have played on you. I mean, I could I could actually Reversal here. Which... Reversal, Ducal Infantryman is good here. So let's first Reversal. Now the Ducal Infantryman. Now we'll now we'll Ducal Infantryman. Now we now we will Soldiers Bond. Now we will get rid of this Prisoners of War for Scrolls. I guess I should have gotten rid of the Scrolls in the first place. And Alhamdulillah is good right now because I could play it with the Replenish, but I have to get units up here. So that are gonna have a chance of surviving. So I'll play this Duke Mitchman. Okay, good turn. But I don't think it's gonna be enough to give me the win in this match. Sadly. I have a new orders. So this guy can move to the center of the board. The Duke of Mitchman. I'm Duke of Skirmisher. Oh okay, for once this turn it looks like I'll have I'll survive this turn, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think he's going to win this turn. Which is pretty big. Um, hopefully I don't see him put down any Lockling Broods or Copper Automatons this turn. That'd be really nice. I might actually just have to use the new orders anyways to not let this guy hit any proximity charge. Oh, there's Lockling Brood. <laughs> and a copper automaton. Oh god. How many of those things does he have in the deck? I could actually go for the Alamitol and kill it that way. And at least I hit him. A flip. Flip, flip, flip. I can kill you, yay. I mean, I could go for the Alon Vital so I can use the flip on something else to kill it. Like the Camnetta. I don't know if that feels too risky, though. I mean, I can't really sacrifice your other resource. I'll get rid of the Revenant for scrolls. Uh. So I guess I'm going to have to flip this. And 
and I will have to take the damage I'm going to try to move up here and knowing he hasn't played any attack buffs yet he probably doesn't have any Okay. And now I have three of my four units have one health, so that charge goal is gonna go to work. Problem is I haven't had one turn to just catch my breath, you know? Is every turn he's played feels like he plays Copper Autom Automatons, Lockling Broods, or both of them. With my idle solo, I I'm forced to deal with them. Okay. Up, he had two proximity charges in his deck. That makes more sense. Golem skin. Oh, is that going to be GG? If that's not GG, he probably shouldn't have done that. I don't think it's GG. Well, I'm actually kind of happy he did that. I mean, yeah, he did make this thing really powerful. I'm not going to be able to kill it. I'm going to lose anyways. But. But. Uh, I don't know, but. Let's get rid of faith chains for scrolls. Oh, yes. Push back. That's how I get rid of that. Yes. But if I push back, then I lose. So I have to play the Royal Vanguard and. So play the Royal Vanguard, and I guess I, f I have to. I feel like I have to save the flip. <laughs> it's like I, I feel like I have to save the flip, and play the New Orders to get rid of the, just the Raider. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the flip. Save the new orders for next turn. So there's the flip. I'm gonna move up, leave that idle open. So next turn, if I new orders, this guy can, if he swoop in. And I doubt he has any way to count this guy down, considering I haven't seen any countdown reduction from him the whole game. So. I'll push, I'll have to push back it next turn. But again, if he plays things to threaten me right now, I'm not going to have time to deal with them too. I have a Lon Vital in my hand. I might actually end up having to sacrifice for growth and play it. This would be much e easier if I was able to somehow cast one of my Imperial resources earlier in the game. Ouch. So he does have, a, I guess, kind of removal. I mean, that hurts a lot because, I mean, he's, he's one of my most powerful creatures on the board. Not the end of the world, though. I mean, just like a, like a mash knight this turn would, would defeat me. But he just says, all right, there's a Snorgle. All right, powerful creature, but thank goodness he did not play another one count on creature. Uh, as much as I'd love to get, uh, to get, uh, that going this turn, uh, Imperial Resources, I have to play pushback. I'll get rid of, I guess, the Elan Vital. And nice, I play, yes, finally, I could I have a good draw, I could play a bunch of creatures this turn. 
So obviously start with the pushback. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna move you guys together. So hopefully I can get an attack buff. I mean I might just see another round of dispersal on this vanguard, which would suck. And to keep him from freely killing me. Yeah, he doesn't have Thunder I don't care about like grouping up. I'll play the Squire here and the Zealot down here. I guess I don't really have to protect the idols right now because I don't think anything's going to come out with haste or anything. But if he just pl plays like a couple of Lachlan Broods then oh well. And seeing as he doesn't play, didn't play any Broods or uh, Coppers last turn, this turn's probably going to have one or two of them. Which means I'm probably not going to have a chance to get the Embrail resources off. Or maybe I will. Because maybe a new order will let this guy travel on the board and take things down. Hanging on by threads here. Two idols at one health. So let's see what he does. I mean, my deck's about to recycle, so I will be getting my flips back and that soldier's bond back. Soldier's bond, a very good scroll to get rid of locking broods with. Okay. The main thing I don't want to happen this turn is about the Sparse on the Vanguard. Plating. Cannonetta. That's what I pushed back. And that's it. Nice. Awesome. Um, who would plating? You? So that means I'm just not going to kill you this turn. <laughs> Might not be able to kill you, kill you for a while. I could I could use new orders. I'm gonna have Imperial Resources. Finally! Imperial Resources. Uh I could new orders and just get rid of the Canonetta. But is that what I really want to do? Uh, yeah, sure. I think that is what I want to do. Get rid of his guys. And what do I want to sacrifice? The thing that's going to attack next turn or the Vanguard? Probably keep the Vanguard. And I am not going to do that. Okay, so I could have used a new orders that turn to kill the the Canonetta. And maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. I actually have two Duke of Instruments in my hand. So this guy can maybe get up to four attack. And I had to put two units on the Sorrow because then if he had a Valent Sorcerer, he would be able to, which we know he has at least one in his deck, he would be able to just Valent Sorcerer and get to get through to the idol. So if he doesn't protect this cat down here, um, two Ducal Infantrymans would be able to take it out. And now with that Imperial Resources, I can start doing more things per turn. But, I mean, he's going to start to get, like, the proximity charges back and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to stay on my toes. He still, it still looks like he has the advantage in this game. Alright, he does protect it. So that Canada will likely get an attack off. 
Oh, you know how he could get uh, a, a lot of attack on each turn? He could do the Golem Skin thing again. Um, yeah, he could do the Golem Skin thing again. But... But, like... Play Proximity Charge and then play it so he has, like, massive attack. And I don't want him to do that, so I, I'm going to try to get rid of this thing right now. I just have to flip. I could just flip you here and just take them down. Uh, do I want to just go for resources and play all my stuff? One, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of the revenant for scrolls. Push back. That's going to be good for him later. Okay, let's play the flip. Let's just flip you here. Yeah. And now I'll just... Double infantryman, leave that idol open. And boom. And hopefully not give out dispersal so I can get a attack boost here. Yep, just leaving this idol open down here. So pushback is really nice for this plating unit. And I have a flip, in case he plays a Lockling Brood. We haven't seen those in a while. If I manage to pull off this comeback victory, I'll be pretty darn happy. That, that this was a, this was looking pretty bleak for me for a long time. Luckily, his only real remove. Okay, he plays the Mount Dispersal, so that kind of sucks. But if that's his whole turn. That's really nice. And Dust Runner down there. All right, which means I can push back and get rid of the Scrape Like Outcast, or I could reversal. But I think pushback just works better as I'm getting rid of the plating at the same time. So, I think I'll get rid of the new orders for scrolls. Okay. So I will push back you, kill you, and just play Ducal Skirmisher, I guess. And I could actually play it here, so, I, so I'm not guaranteed to lose something from this row. You know, I'll do that. I kind of like that plan. There we go. Alright. Now let's get the K out. Let's draw the K this turn. His K is almost like a cantrip, because uh, I'll just play it when I'm going to kill a creature and then I'll draw a scroll. That was, that's one of K's abilities. You, you, just, you just draw a scroll uh, every turn that you kill something when she's on the board. Or a short unit. I wonder how long this judgment match has been going on for. Round 22. The recording. It's probably around 40 minutes. I like to keep my videos at 20 minutes, so what am I going to do? Like, how do, how do you speed up scrolls matches? <laughs> okay, plays a Snorgle and another Snorgle. So it's a big attack. But at this point, I don't know what, what there is that I can't handle. 
All right. Uh, I could use, I could sacrifice the zealot, but I don't think I need to. Uh, I did get the K, so I think I'll just play the K this turn. Um, I actually do. I, I do want to. Hmm. Part of me just wants to crown a strength, so I can kill this dust runner. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get rid of the reversal, although it might come in handy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably crown a strength this turn. Okay, which isn't bad. So I'll crown a strength. I'll move my guys up like this. Now I can play Gallant Defender, but I have more units than him on the board almost now, so I think Heritage Royal Skirmisher is gonna be better. So I'll play the Heritage on you. And I'll play the Royal Skirmisher back there. Okay. And both Stormers are there, so if he plays a spell, he won't be attacking anytime soon. I wanted to keep the flip there, so in case he plays Lachlan Brood, I have an answer to that. <sighs> Unfortunately, uh, I want to get the cat when I'm going to kill an opponent, and as the board looks right now, I'm not guaranteed to kill an opponent unit. So, getting K out on a turn like that would not be ideal. I might have to do some flipping action this turn. I place that in front. And what's he gonna? What's he gonna do? I am interested. What are you thinking, Art? Gravelock Raider. Okay, I don't care about you. He has a hired marksman. We haven't seen that yet. And a Stargo Hunter. Welp. Okay then. So, let's get rid of the. Night Scholar for Scrolls. Count Defender might be really important. Uh. So flip. I can flip and take out one of the Snorgles. Or I could just take out a Raider and play the K. I think I want to take out one of the snorgles. Yeah, I, I want to take out one of the snorgles. So. Let's take it out. Let's just move it. Here, sure. And then I'm going to position like this boom 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 and I have seven units of the board he only has three so a little choice on what he wants to take out here Kabox would have gone far in this deck. Yep, let's take out those proximity charges. Which I don't have a good answer to. I mean, I guess the Zealot can take him out, right? He to damage to our unit, a creature. Alright, so the Zealot can take out half of a proximity charge. He just takes out that. Alright, Soldier's Bond is interesting. Because I would be able to play the Alamitol. I'm actually going to get rid of the Prisoners of War. Uh, Rosa Bean Potion. Actually, 
starting to do a nice level damage. So, uh, here, you can have three attack, you could have four attack. Seems like I can take out these guys. Well, that's good. Which means I think it's another turn we're not going to play. We're not going to play K. So I'll take that out. Actually, it's three and five. So that takes them out. And I could start to heal you up. But I don't know if that's going to be necessary. And I've roasted Bean Potion for later. All right. <laughs> we might not even play the K this turn because that proximity to charge is there and I want to be able to get rid of this hired marksman. And he surrenders. Wow. I won that match. He finally gave up seeing as uh, I started to get a hold on the match. And I am very happy with that win. It took a long time, but it was quite fun. So I think that'll be it for today. Um... tired after that <laughs> almost 50 minutes that match oh boy judgment bat matches can tend to drag uh yeah hopefully i got five wins of the match um two in this video so thanks for watching guys like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you next time keep on scrolling scrollers